Howdy folks, this is an inbox review of Tallier's Hurricane Mark 1, 148 scale. Let's take a look. This side on the box, <coughs> instructions on the information on the airplane in different languages. This side, there's not much on that side. There's not an awful lot on that side neither. Or this side. We get instruction manual. We get a little book about the aircraft and one bag with all the sprues and a tiny little bit of photo etch, uh, some seat belts and cockpit um, detailing. Um, Take a look at the sprues. Not a lot up to this kit by the looks of things. Should go together fairly quickly and fairly easy, I should imagine. glass and the cockpit canopy looks fairly good I don't want to take it out of the bag because I don't want to get scratched up this is one 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 of the big screws this is the main wing underside detailing it's pretty good with the rivets and the recess panel lines it's the top of the wings Again, really, really detailed. Hardly any flash. A few pin marks, but nothing to worry about. It's, it's, it's an easy, easy fix and take care of. The detailing on fuselage is pretty good again. And all these rivet struts. More cockpit. It's like a cage cockpit. This one. This one does come with a detailed engine. The engine's not too bad. Seen better, but out of the box. That's pretty good for out of the box. And we got a small bag here with propellers and tail wings and some wheels. Two sprues, identical. So propellers, rudder, rear wings, and wheels. Two-piece wheels, weighted on wheels. That's okay, but it's two-piece wheels. Not a fan of them. Um, but we shall see. Front part of the manual, it's about the aircraft in English, French, Italian, Denmark, I think, and I'm not sure what the other countries are. I'm not sure what NL is and e ES is, I'm not sure what country that is. First page with all the sprues and what you get in the kit. First part, stage one, cockpit detail, putting the seat belts in and the actual cockpit frame. It's like a cage cockpit, a bit like the, um, the Yak-1 when I built the Yak-1, that was all cage cockpit. Stage 2, oh, sorry, stage 3, more detail on the cockpit. Stage 4, engine detail. Putting the engine and cockpit in the fuselage together. Wings together, step six, step seven, 
wings and fuse rods mounted together, mounting the front part of the guns in. It's just not an awful lot to this kit, should go together very, very easily and quickly. If you're looking for a quick build, I reckon this be a, be a good build for a quick build. Underside of the fuselage, undercarriage, wheels and undercarriage again, more of them, more. This is undercarriaging wheels, but if you want it closed, and this one is for when it's if you want it open. So two different types in flight mode and on the ground. Putting the covers on or not covers on over your engine. If you're gonna display the engine, there's no point having the covers on at all. I don't if you if you're gonna have the covers on I don't see the point of putting the engine in either. Um tail wings Putting the canopy on, open or closed. Propellers on or prop. Right, this is one optional marking, version A, RAF 1940, squadron 242. That's the one I'm going to be doing. I'm going to, I've got this kit twice. I've got two of these kits. I'm going to do this one here, which is the two-stage camo, and it's got the black and duck egg underside. You've got another camouflage and sky type sky color under the underside. Um, this one is the same, same camouflage but different, this is a Polish one. Another option, two stage camo again, with sky type on the side. If this one here is a grey, um, and the nose, is black and the tail is uh, like a desert camo. So a weird colour those ones, a bit of the odd one. And this one here is another one I'm going to do because I've got, like I said before, I've got two kits. So I'm going to also do this Irish one, which is in two stage camo, dark green and uh, brown on the side, sky type S, which is like a off yellow, nope, sorry, an off greedy colour, light. Um, which is this, I've got it in Vallejo, which is, it's like this off, I don't know, is it off green, white, I don't know, I'm not really sure, it's, <clears throat> but the markings are red and orange, like swirls. And uh, the these stripes are come as decals, but I'm actually going to I'm going to paint them on. But I'm going to put those put those circles on as decals. A bit something different. These are the decals. Nicely gloss in glossy colour. Nicely registered. They're not thick at all. This is the Irish one. And there's the British one. Um, one, the British one I'm going to do has got this kick ass symbol and the skull, they both go on the plane. Pretty cool little em emblems. There's the Polish one, if you're going to do it. Um, cockpit detail, if you, if you haven't got any uh, aftermarket stuff. I think these are printed by... These are printed by a cartographer, so should have no problem with these. Uh, put them there with Microsoft and set, should be no issues whatsoever. Also, you get this book with the kit. Oops, sorry about that. Um, history about the aircraft. More history. 
because um, you can have this kit with the engines open, you could do a bit of a diorama like there is on this photo. That would be pretty cool. I have to get some aftermarket figures though. More history and information on different marks of hurricanes. More hurricanes. Different marks of hurricanes there. See hurricanes. It's a hurricane taking off the aircraft. Aircraft carrier based hurricanes by the looks of things. Coloured photos of aircraft of the hurricane. Some framing. More colour photos. Air duct for the radio, but I think that is. Exhaust. This book would be pretty good for her doing weathering and detailing your plane up and getting things right. Well, actually, that could be the radio as well. The tail, breakdown of the tail, of how it's put together, more tail. Now this is a massive breakdown of the aircraft, of what parts are what. That's pretty cool, I like that. More, that's the wing breakdown. More wings of breakdown. Where the guns go and they situate. If anyone wonders what these red parts are for, it's because when they first started, the guns would get condensation inside the guns and they wouldn't fire properly, they'd jam up. So they realised by putting some tape over the front of the guns, it stopped the condensation. A little simple thing like that could easily make your life or save your life or whatever. Crazy, eh? Some of the Hulkins had cannons, cockpit, more cockpit detailing, what parts do what and what means what in the cockpit, Some more cockpit photos of doing the weathering. Like this bit here, yeah, this is where I get confused. See the underside of the airplane, which is the one of the marks I was going to do. It's black and white. According to the instructions, they want you to do black, but a duck egg green. Duck egg green is this colour. According to the instructions. But in the photo, it's white, which is sky type blue which is not off white which is the same as what I used on my Spitfire so I don't know I don't know what to do if you uh, have any suggestions please comment down below you'd uh, help me and it'll be appreciated I don't know as I say I just really don't know what to do uh, undercarriage more undercarriage what the suspension, how it works, and what parts do what, and what means what. Tail wheel. More tail wheel and how that works, the framing. These are coloured details of what aircraft There's the Irish one as well, what are we doing. And that's the grey version, the weird one. Bit of a weird colour that. I thought it was a better photo um, natural metal finish, but it wasn't. It's actually grey. Uh, thank you for watching. Comment, subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll catch you next time.